what's up everyone then, my name is Tom and welcome to TechStream. Today, thank you over to the guys over at Cherry, we're taking a look at their DW9000 Slim keyboard and mouse combo. Now, first of all, I must apologise, it's been a couple of weeks since I've put a video up. We've had some problems with samples arriving faulty, uh, Project Mega Bill, which if you follow me on social media, it's my dual 20 core Xeon absolute behemoth of a system has been literally having my having me pull my hair out and um, yeah things have just been it's just been so manic I haven't had a chance to actually get a real video made but this arrived in the post and well I thought I'd have a quick play with it because I've taken a look at the, the 6000 slim a little while ago which was basically a cable version of this keyboard and I quite liked it I actually said that it was basically the keyboard that Apple should have produced because I really did actually quite like it. And what we have here, it is also available in silver, is a wireless keyboard and mouse combo version of it. And what can I say? So, it is a wireless keyboard and mouse combo. We do have a full 104 key keyboard, which if I switch on, I can show you. Um, there's nothing majorly fancy about the keyboard. Butterfly switches, membrane switches, which everything's of cherry as mechanicals, but it's a nice solid, as it is very, very thin keyboard. 104 keys, as I said, few macro keys, uh, not macros, shortcut keys, you've got volume, uh, mute, a calculator, the lock button to lock your computer, and the one to open your default browser. That's really it for the keyboard. There's nothing fancy about it, it's just been really well built. The, there are no sort of like icons up here for your scroll lock or caps lock. Instead, on the actual switch itself, which if I turn to RF, just about light up. They're, they're quite hard to see. Just a little blue, little white dots there are on the keys themselves. And that is about it. Now the keyboard was actually surprisingly heavy. And the first thing I did when I was looking around in the box was, where's the batteries? You don't put any in it. The actual keyboard itself is rechargeable, hence it feels so weighty. And the other thing that impressed me, on the back, now on this, on the bottom here, we do have a little switch with a little icon next to it, little LED light, a button, and a micro USB for charging. Would have been nice to have seen maybe USB-C, it's just a, a bit more of a robust connection, but you're not going to be charging it that often anyway. Micro USB, charge it up, off you go. Now you have two options as I kind of skipped over there when it comes to users. What is what they've got as RF. RF is using the little dongle that sits inside the mouse or Bluetooth. Obviously if you've got the option I'd say use the dongle. It's just easier. You plug the dongle in it just works. You do also have the option for Bluetooth which if you're using just the mouse for example with maybe a tablet or a laptop okay you might just want to stick it in Bluetooth and off you go. If you're using it as a desktop option, yeah, put it in RF mode, leave the dongle, but you could also have the dongle plugged into your computer, go away to work with your laptop, and just take the mouse with you. Stick it in Bluetooth mode, off you go. You could even take both with you and just stick it in Bluetooth mode. You do not have to use the dongle, so you can have this connected to a few different computers all at once. So as I said, it is very slim, but very well made. There's no creaks or groans, a little bit of flex in it, but hey, it is a plastic keyboard, membrane and very thin at that. The keys are completely flat, little indents over the F and the J for your touch typers, but they've got a nice solid feel to it. Because it is completely flat to the ground, nice solid feel. No, it's not loud or anything like that, it's a membrane keyboard. The space bar is a little bit clacky, but on the whole, all nice, soft, dampened, there's a bit of tactility to it, so you, you know when you press the button. And that's about it for the keyboard. But there was one thing I didn't like. These things. Now, as I said, this is incredibly flat to the desk. And what they include is stick-on extensions. And the way these work, you peel off the double-sided sticky tape, you pop it on, and it raises the keyboard up. And it does raise it to a nice angle. But they stick on. So once you've stuck them on once, you can't really change your mind. So if you stick them on and then change your mind, you want it flat, but inside that's not what you want. You do actually want it raised. You've already used the double-sided tape ones and you can't really reuse double-sided tape. But 
Me personally, I'm a raised keyboard person. Most people know whether they're like a flat or a raised keyboard anyway. It was just one little right. Obviously, to keep it this slim, there, was, there wasn't the space to put in a good flip-up mechanism. Because the battery and everything is inside, space is probably a, quite a premium. I mean, there's, the battery in this has to be quite hefty. It's quite heavy. In fact, the mouse, on the other hand, though, feels like nothing. But yeah, little rubber feet. Not the end of the world, though. But all in all, very, very easy to use, set up. Like I say, you just flick it to RF mode if you want to use the dongle. Flip it to Bluetooth mode and you can press the little pairing button so then you can connect it to your computer. The little feet on the other hand, meh. Personally, I got used to just using it flat. I might be, I am normally the sort of person that likes their keyboard at a tilt, but in flat mode. Yeah, lovely little keyboard really. Perfect, nice minimalist design. Also, as I said, available in silver for those Apple people. So let's move on to the mouse. Now, the mouse, small laptop sized mouse, you're not going to do any gaming with it realistically, but if you are looking for a nice discreet setup, maybe office environment, or something that is for the kids and the wife to use, for browsing the net, or even you get away with using, hiding this away in the living room. Nice little mouse. This particular option, this is the black and rose gold version, I did say it is available in silver. We do have some rubberized parts down the sides just for some grip. Non-stick mat on the bottom, allow it to glide, nice and light. And on the bottom, we have the same little switch. So the up position is off on this one. And then you have RF, if you flick it down once, flick it all the way to the bottom, Bluetooth. Little button on the bottom there for your Bluetooth pairing. And when it is in Bluetooth mode, there is an indicator light here on the top. Now, we also have micro USB on the front for charging it, just by here. Scroll wheel, which does click as well, and then our forwards and backwards buttons. And I believe this button here does also change DPI. All in all, though, very nice little mouse. A little bit light. I would have liked, I, they could have got away with, like, it's alive. They could have got away with maybe putting a slightly bigger battery in this. It's also very, it's all one-ended, okay? You hold it, like, anywhere near the middle, yeah all the weight is in the back here. Would have been nice if it was maybe a little bit more evenly weighted. Give it a nicer balancing point, but it's not a gaming mouse, it's an office mouse. It's got those vitally important backwards and forwards buttons that are just under your thumb. Again, setup is simple. You press the Bluetooth button to pair it, job done. Or you use the dongle, which sits just nicely in the bottom of the mouse, and it's magnetic. Now, all in all, it's a great product. It's available here in the UK at the moment. I saw it on eBuyer for £70, which I think a well-made keyboard and mouse wireless combo. Okay, yeah, you can get cheaper stuff. You can get a lot cheaper stuff. You could probably pick up something similar, cheaper, for maybe £20 or £30. But it will not be as well-designed or well-made as this. The build quality, there's no creaks or anything from anything. It is really well made. It's really well designed. It is incredibly sleek and slim. I mean, it's it's Apple-esque. The keyboard itself, definitely. In silver, it's the silver and white combo, I think looks perfect in front of an iMac. As this one is, the rose gold, maybe not for me. But it is, you, you, you pay your money, but you are definitely getting the quality. So there we go guys, that is about it for the Cherry DW9000 Slim. I will put some links in the description down below. I'm going to give it, mm, yeah, it's a two thumbs up. There's nothing else really like this on the market. Cherry are quite good at picking up, when it comes to these kind of things, they're their own little niche markets. And this one is designed for those people that are have a little bit more money to spend on themselves for a nice office system. Yep. I like it. So as I said, I'm going to put some links as to where you can pick one up down below. I'm going to give it a big thumbs up. As always, if you want to see more of me, do click the subscribe button and the little notification bell. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. As always, any comments, questions, suggestions, leave it down below. I try and take my time to answer them all. And if you want to see more of me, I will hopefully be back at the same time next week. Thank you very much and bye for now.